We'd like to thank the San Bernardino County Board of Supervisors for their support of this program. Welcome to San Bernardino County News Now, your source for the biggest stories happening in the nation's largest county. I'm Martha Guzman Hurtado. Let's get started. San Bernardino County mountain communities are on the road to recovery after a series of historic snowstorms and heavy rain significantly impacted the region. The response has been all hands on deck as rescue teams, volunteers, public works and a host of regional partner agencies help residents navigate this unprecedented crisis. Our mountain communities, we understand the nature of this emergency and how it is impacting our residents. Plowing of the roads is continuing 24-7. Um, we have thrown all of our assets at this. It is our number one priority to get our residents the food, the medicine, and access that they need. Two weeks we've been in the house. These gentlemen stopped by, saw that we were struggling to get our car out. They were very nice to stop by and assist us digging out and stopped a, a bobcat and he did some of the work too. And I was very appreciative of that. Fire was trying to get to a family who was snowed in and fire was working on hiking probably like two miles back through waist deep snow to get to these people. And we happened to show up with their snow cap in the middle of their hike and were able to give the firefighters a ride, make it to the house, help them dig out the door. It took all of us and it was only because we had all those resources that we were able to get to them and, and get them down to the shelter. The fire department was passing out supplies for people that couldn't get out of their home. And our emergency services that showed up today were angels, just angels. Despite the challenges faced by many residents throughout these storms, neighbors never stopped helping each other whenever and however they could. In this next video, we highlight just some of the efforts of these amazing volunteers. We're here at Lake Gregory supporting a donation effort in collaboration with GEM, a global empowerment mission. We plan to provide residents food and donations as well as directly deliver to those that might not be able to drive to this location. Today we're with the community support group and it's a few different churches from down the hill came up with the county and we are uh, digging people out. Anytime I can help my community, it's a fantastic feeling. It gives me a great amount of satisfaction to know that I can make a small amount of difference in somebody's life. Neighbors helping neighbors, and uh, we were glad to be a part of that too, out there just providing free coffee for people walking by. We're really glad that we're getting through this because Crestline came together. Overall, we all pulled together as a community, helping each other. It's so nice that everyone's coming together to help other people. It just kind of restores my faith again in humanity. Updated storm information and resources for county residents affected by the season's severe weather are available online at snowinfo.sbcounty.gov. Spanning the county's vast northern region, San Bernardino County's first district is home to a diverse range of desert, valley, and mountain communities. Board Vice Chairman and First District Supervisor Paul Cook has the floor this month in the San Bernardino County District Minute. Hi, I'm Supervisor Paul Cook. I'm the First District Supervisor and Vice Chairman of the Board. Earlier this month, our district rallied to assist the Wrightwood residents impacted by the blizzard. My staff and I went up there, we talked to the businesses, we talked to the residents. That's the only way you can really find out what's going on, what they need. Very, very important to know that somebody is looking out for them. On March 5th, my office was pleased to sponsor the Greater High Desert Chamber of Commerce's An Evening Affair. It celebrates creative cuisine, artistic talents of our constituents. On March 16th, our district office hosted the 10th annual 
High Desert Commercial Real Estate Symposium. It uh, went over a number of exciting projects coming, a strong commercial real estate, some of the most affordable housing in Southern California. To keep up with the latest First District news, go to my website. Follow me on social media, subscribe to my newsletter, talk to my staff. Everybody, I want to thank all their help in this disaster. It just shows that we can all come together, work together, and take care of our folks. Thank you, Vice Chairman. Now for some upcoming events you'll want to mark on your calendar. Enjoy Easter egg hunting, live entertainment, and a basket full of family fun at Calico Ghost Town during our annual Easter celebration happening on Sunday, April 9th. Senior citizens aged 60 and older are being served a free meal at the Grace Vargas Senior Center in Rialto on the first Friday each month. Hot meals are available in the morning from 8.30 to 10.30. And come explore our galaxy during Cosmic Nights at the San Bernardino County Museum in Redlands on Saturday, April 29th. Regular admission applies, museum members and parking are free. That's it for this edition of San Bernardino County News Now. You can watch this and all of our videos by visiting the newsroom section at sbcounty.gov. I'm Martha Guzman Hurtado, until next time.